All right, I got something exciting for you today. So I have searched the internet and looking for every type of food science or related class that is online and free for you to take. So I think, you know, if you are looking into majoring in food science, maybe you're already a food scientist, but want to brush up on some subjects or, you know, even if you're just someone who likes to bake and cook and you like are interested in the science, some of these classes might be really fun or interesting for you to take. So let's go. Let's start with my favorite place for online classes that are free and that's Coursera. And it's like the word course with the A on the end. And actually my boyfriend introduced me to Coursera several years ago and it's a huge game changer. I've taken like several different classes on this site from anything from like writing, communication, how to teach better, personal branding. Like this website is amazing. Now the first classes on Coursera I want to point out to you are both called science and cooking. So it's like part A and then you could move on to part B. Now the first uh, course, science and cooking, is based on chemistry. So this is pretty cool. Um, if you look here, it says enroll uh, May 18th. Really, these classes are always sort of enrolling. So don't don't make it like it's, you don't have to enroll on the specific day. It's I don't know. I think it's kind of giving you. But so in this course, what are we going to learn? So this is interesting. It's actually uh, taught by Harvard X or what is probably Harvard's online uh, department. So we'll learn about scientific concepts, underlying cooking, physics, engineering, chemistry, how to think like a chef and scientist. That's pretty cool. Now, what you're going to learn in this class, molecules, kind of the basics, which, you know, for me, that was my first food science class. We did start with molecules like proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, you know, that type of thing. But then you go on to, you know, energy, temperature, phase transitions, which are very, very important in food. And all, ooh, module six is candy. I do love the science of candy. I took a whole class at UW-Madison which was confectionery technology. All we did was learn about candy and make candy and taste candy. It was amazing. So this is class one. This is the first part of science and cooking. Let me just see if I hit enroll. Let's see where it takes me. I just wanna make sure everyone will be able to uh, enroll in this class for free. So you'll, you can pay for these courses if you want to get like a certificate, which you don't need a certificate. If you go over here, you can access the course for free, which means you get all the lecture materials, all the printouts, all the, you know, that sort of thing, but you don't have to take like a final quiz or exam for a grade, which I think is great just to continue, you know, lifelong learning. So hit access this course for free, continue, yeah, and then you're ready to go. You can basically uh, start the course. You can do it at your own pace. They always try to tell you, uh, you know, how fast you should be doing these modules. But for me, I just do it when I have time and I find that works really well. And just a quick reminder here, if you are getting value from this video, please press that thumbs up button and please subscribe to my channel. Now, like I said, there is a part two to science and cooking, and this focuses on the physics. So a slightly different topic, uh, but kind of the second part of this series. So again, for some reason, it says you can start May 18th. You know, that's, you can start whenever you want. Don't worry about that. But this course, again, is uh, done by Harvard. Uh, what you'll learn is a little different. So you're focusing on the physical principles of cooking, uh, enzymes, uh, scientific methods. So a bit different than the course uh, we just talked about, but sort of like part two. Again, you can see here, you can audit the course, which is for free, but you have access to the materials, which is super, super nice. Okay, so those are the first two options that I think would be really, really interesting food science topics on Coursera. But now I want to show you a fermentation type food science class that is also on Coursera. So this is called food fermentation. So 
a lot of food products are fermented now. It's kind of like very trendy. You, of course, you have like kimchi and sauerkraut, but now you have like kombucha. So this is really relevant to the food industry. Like I said, this is a bit of a different subject because of course you're gonna focus on microbiology. What are those microbes doing in food that helps us uh, sort of preserve them via fermentation. So what you'll learn in this course, oh, interesting. This one is also done by Harvard, Harvard X, I forgot that. Um, so what you're looking at is fermented food, of course, how we can use microbes for good. You will look at, you know, simple fermentations and then get into different food products like pickles, I mentioned sauerkraut, yogurt, you know, this, this could be a very interesting course if you more want to do the microbiology of food, which as an undergrad, I had to take general microbiology and then also uh, food, food microbiology. Then the last course I want to point out on Coursera is actually the science of gastronomy. This is uh, done by Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. So if we look at uh, this course, what is it about? Well, it looks at the scientific disciplines of cooking, food prep, and enjoyment of food. So let's click enroll for free. So this one claims it starts June 13th, but I, again, I would not worry that worry about that. So what pops up is we could purchase the course, but again, for free, you can just audit the course because you don't, unless you really, really want this certificate, you can just use this, these learning materials, right? To, to better your food science knowledge. The, the certificate isn't that important. Continue. All right, so let's look at the syllabus. So it looks like you'd learn about energy transfer in week one. Week two is about hunger and satiety. And then the following weeks, you're talking about the different senses like taste, smell, sight, touch. And then the last module, this is interesting, is fruits and vegetables. So something a little different. Uh, but again, I think this would be a great way to brush up on some food science material or learn it for the first time. Oh, and a uh, quick time out here. If you want to learn more about majoring in food science careers, like I have basically written a whole guidebook. I don't know. Can you see it back here? Basically a guidebook to being a food scientist. So I will put a link in the description if that's something that interests you. Moving on to the next platform, I want to show you the FAO's eLearning Academy and FAO, that's just the Food and Agriculture Organization. This is part of the United Nations, but they have like a whole slew of online classes and courses. I will say some of them are a bit specific, but I want to show you because maybe it's just the right topic for you. So here is their eLearning Academy. Okay, maybe to get some more unique results, let's pick an area. So ones that could be intriguing are food and nutrition, security and health. There's also a sustainable food systems or food losses and waste. I really like to learn about food waste and what we can do about it. Food safety, if you like microbiology, food safety might just be your thing. Let's go with sustainable food system. Sustainability is a just a really big topic right now. So we get some hits on pesticides, water savings, uh, sustainable food systems, a lot of different courses on different areas of sustainable food systems, uh, food value changes, sustainable agriculture. Yeah, like I mentioned that top, this, this eLearning Academy, some of the topics are very specific but they, hold up, they have a whole library you could explore. So you might be able to find something that really is niche, but interests you. The last course I want to introduce you to is a bit different. It definitely is food science-y, but also uh, talks about health and society. And this course is called Food for Thought. It's on edX and it's uh, done by McGill University. So if you're someone who more is looking at like the, you're more interested in like the health of different foods or how it impacts our body, maybe this is more your speed. So let's check out this food for thought course uh, done by McGill. So in this course, you're gonna learn about eating well, the nuances of foods. They talk about miracle foods, about poisons, you know, what do these terms really mean? 
And if we look at the syllabus, so you'll talk about vitamins, minerals, macronutrients. So this really reminds me in my bachelor's degree in food science, we took a nutritional sciences course. And of course we talked about vitamins, minerals, and macronutrients, absolutely. So that is relevant for food scientists or nutritional scientists, anyone around that area. Food additives, that will be a very good topic. Food reactions, weight control, diet. So for me as a food scientist, I would say a lot of topics in this food for thought course I find very interesting, but the last two, the weight control and diet and health, those I think are maybe more for the nutritional scientists or dietitians, but I mean, it's good things to know. All right, I hope you found a class that interests you here and good luck exploring those topics. I'll talk to you next time.